Hello folks, Major Gosnell here, and today I'm going to be starting a new Let's Play for Path of Exile, and I'm going to be doing an Unarmed Marauder class. So, I've played a few um, characters before, and the Unarmed one with the Facebreaker gloves really, really appeals to me. So, we're going to start off here. Now, we're in Standard League, as I've unlocked a lot of uh, unique items that I will be using, and unfortunately, I don't fit in Hardcore. So, oh, <laughs> and I'm off to a bad start there, picking up a weapon. So let's just drop that right there, and away we go. Bastards, dumb nits. Now to get off the ground, it's going to be a little slow going. The dead should as, remember their place. To be completely honest, the first few levels will be very dull without the facebreaker gloves. But once we get there, it should be pretty good. So let's get the black here. Mike Tyson look. So the rules will be very simple. I shan't be allowed any weapons at all. Just my fists. Got plate vest, wonderful. And we can put heavy strike. Oh, you need a weapon for heavy strike, don't you? He. <laughs> the fuck happened to those crates? Seven and nine of the local bar here. Alright, Helix should be interesting, completely unarmed. Also, I'll be playing this as a hardcore playthrough, so if I die, that's it. So, given that I'm going to be unarmed, I will need a lot of armor in life, but uh, for the time being, I think we can go more for melee damage, as the early uh, levels, there isn't much risk of dying. Okay, let's see what my DPS at the moment is. 5.9. Not the best in the world.
see how it goes with shield. I think I might go with shield build as well, just to um, give me that added extra defense. Okay, Helix should be around there somewhere. Damn, they just ran away from me. Oh, here we go. Looks a little disturbing what he's doing to help here. Oh, now you brought a sword to a fist fight. That ain't cool, man. Oh yeah. All right, let's get the gloves and we'll choose more hide boots. Yep, yeah, take those as well. I was wondering where that baby Alamoana sound came the from. Of Namakanui. Oh, it's there. No need to be surprised, can uh. My father and I were monk. Lion Eyes okay. Watch isn't much, but it's ours. Um. Fine work with Hillock. You... Let's see which one we can use without a weapon. A weapon. Molten Strike. That should work, I think. Yeah, Molten Strike should be effective. Okay. Now, we're going to take a look in our stash here, because we do have a lot of items saved up. So for the time being, we're going to use the um, Nocturnal Caress. Can we handy little gloves to use? So we got 13 increased attack speed, 12 cast speed, 10 to armor, 12 to reduced mana con- what the hell's mana conduit? Yeah, fuck it. We're backing on. Okay. Let's see what else we can uh, strap on here. Do 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 do. Here we go. You got some rings. I think two of these uh, black hearts will be very handy. So we got five, one tree, 20 to maximum life, 2.6 to life regen, 10% chance for monsters to flee, 2.4 life regen, 1 to tree chaos damage, 24 to maximum life. Let's see what the other ones are 25 to maximum life, 2, 6, 2.4. The regen is what I'm going for here, more so. Um, 2.7. Ooh, actually, yep. Yeah, that will be good for that one, I think. That one out. Yeah, we should be pretty good now. And let's go for a necklace as well. 100% evasion rating. To do. Should we go for that instead? No, we'll stick with this one. So, that's just going to give us a, about 10 life regen per second. That should secure us for the early game at least. Do. I just want to make sure we do have face breakers. We do. Excellent. Alright, well, we should be good to go. Okay. So 
So let's see what our base attack damage is now. So we got 18.9 DPS. I am surrounded by is, living corpses. Can't be used. Oh, dying fuck. Or Athens. Let's just go back to Lionized here and find something that we can use. Heavy strike, no. Oh, Infernal Blow. We can use that one. Yep. That's the one we're going to use. <sighs> Excellent. We're going to be rather limited with our options as well, and what we can use unarmed, unfortunately. 25 DPS, not bad. So let's just take a look at our um, character screen here. Defense we have life regeneration of 8.7. Woohoo! So that should be pretty good. Oh no, that's more like it. Now, needless to say, I'll be going for Melee Splash as soon as I can unlock it. Oh! Shit. Let's go for increased melee physical or tense strength. Want to get down here for the attack speed. I think that'll be important. Okay, there we go. And that brings us up to 27 DPS. Find this uh, fire dropping one that's normally around here. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, here she is. Used to be scared shitless for an hardcore. Blast them out of here. Thank <laughs> you. 
let's grab this waypoint and get this goddamn medicine chest. If I hear Nisa say that one more time. Okay, let's push in here. Sir. I should increase my DPS a little bit. Excellent. Oh. Okay, let's go for melee damage again. Okay, this ice bastard is probably up here somewhere. the damn medicine chest. Ooh. Take that one there. Clear the last bit of this here, and we should be good. Damn, that life regen is really so nice here.
hear him or something out here. Never mind. Scrolls up in the back line eyes. Okay, and now we're about to hear those immortal words. Okay, and that's it. Let's A medicine it. chest. This means more to us than you can know. There are some who wouldn't have lasted the night without it. Take this. Sword that girl's a fucking junkie. Okay, now here we go. The end. Okay, and lock it in here. So you managed. So yes, I managed to do the goddamn quest. Animals don't seem to rise up after death the same as people do You've here. Obviously never had so if they here. aren't raising themselves, what's doing? Okay, so let's take Hello. a look at our rewards here. Oh, bugger off. So we're just gonna upgrade some of our stuff here. And a little bit better. Yeah, could have been better. Yeah, let's take a look in our gear and see how we can create a character up a bit. Any more uniques that I've unlocked? Do do. Nothing much yet. Okay, now I just need to find my. Ah, here we go. So we're just gonna increase these somewhat. Oh! That's gonna be used. Alright. Do we have any alchemies actually? Nope, I don't. Oh, we do. Now, what do we want to use the alchemy on? Is the question. I think I'm going to be using the Rustic Sash for a while, so may as well bump that one up a little bit. Yep. There we go. Let's use the Orb of Chance. Ah, yeah, can't actually do that. Um, yep, here we go. Tree to maximum life. Let's try to change that a bit there. Yeah, it'll do for now. Okay, rawhide boots. Let's use an hour of a chance on that. Some recovery. Mm, I want to get some better ones than that. Fuck it. We'll go with that one. Yeah, it's a pretty good roll. Okay, helmet. Let's see what we can get on this one. Reflect a bit of damage. Could be useful for now. And for a tower shield. Let's see what we can get on this one. Oh, nice roll! 9 to armor, 8 increased armor, 1 point true life regeneration. Very nice. That was a very lucky roll there. Okay. Don't think we've unlocked any of the um, support gems yet. Way too early for that. Right. So let's just check what our DPSs are. 31 on Infernal Blow. And 22.8 on that one. Okay, let's go to passive. Oh, not passive. I'm going to go to character screen. Offensive. Chance to hit is 80%. Okay. 20% chance to cause flee. That's actually pretty good. Armor 60, estimated physical damage reduction is 38, evasion rating 78, estimated chance to evade attacks is 34%. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, life regeneration per second 11.1, .1. mana regeneration, need to work on that a bit. Resists are poor still, chaos there obviously. Chance to block attacks 24%. Stun Recovery Modifier, plus 19. Damage Reflected, 7. And Movement Speed Modifier is 4. Now the boot's at 10. So I'm losing speed somewhere along the line. Maybe Amma, uh, Amma. <laughs> Armor was causing that. So though, not a bad layout for now. Anyway, we're going to call a halt to the video here. And pick it up. And maybe tomorrow.